Hi everyone, my name is Nathan and uh, I'm just on my way home at the moment after a busy day at school and I decided to stop somewhere. I wonder if you can guess where I am. You might be able to hear from the traffic that I'm next to a really busy road. Let's just see if we can work out where I am. Okay, maybe you can see from the sign if I just zoom in there. I am outside the Round Stone Farm. Maybe you've been here to do pick your own, or maybe you've been here to go to the shop. If I just go over the fence, you might be able to see all those orange pumpkins there, just waiting for someone to buy. And Round Stone, as it says, is a farm. And today we are celebrating harvest. And harvest is all about remembering where our food comes from and being really thankful for the food that we have. So I'm going to go on a little bit of a journey and see if we can find out where our food might come from. Well, hello again. Well, I made it home, I had my tea, and now I've decided I'm going to go to the supermarket and think about where our food comes from. I've managed to come out at the time where it is absolutely pouring down with rain and it feels like everything is going to flood. But I'm still going to go into the supermarket. I'm here at Morrison's. Other supermarkets are available and I'm going to see if I can work out where our food comes from. See you in a minute. Right, well I'm back from the supermarket. It is still pouring with rain. I thought I'd have a little little bit of a look at things I've got in my bag. Think about where it came from. So, one of the things I bought was I bought some bacon. I really love bacon. Do you like bacon? Now I know that bacon comes from an animal. It comes from a pig. Pigs uh, live on farms. And farmers work really hard to look after the pigs so that we can have their meat when it's the right time. So I bought some bacon. I also bought I also bought some butter. This is because giraffe class are going to be doing some baking later this week. Um, butter and margarine comes from milk that comes from cows. Sometimes it comes from plants as well. I've got one here that's made without any milk, just for people who can't have milk. Farmers, again, work really hard to grow the crops and to look after the animals to give us our milk and our butter and cheese and lots of other dairy food. What else have I got? Ooh, I've got one of those. That's for later. Right, what else have I got? Oh, I found these. I really like these. These are cereal bars. Grown. Cereal is grown on the fields. Farmers work really hard to grow it. The rain falls and the sun shines and helps the plants to grow so we can have cereal bars from the things that grow. What else grows? Oh, potatoes. Potatoes grow. Do you know where potatoes grow? Potatoes grow under the ground. They grow in the soil under the ground and farmers work really hard to dig them up so that we can put them in the shops so we can buy them. I bought an apple. Got to have an apple for a teacher. Apples grow on trees, don't they, in orchards. And again, farmers work really hard to grow them and look after them and then pick them at the right time, at harvest time, so that we can eat them. Lovely. Like a good crunchy apple. I also bought some bananas. I like to buy loose bananas, but they didn't have any in the shop. So here are some bananas. Now, bananas, bananas don't grow in our country. It needs a really hot country, and I know from the weather today that it isn't like that. So bananas are grown in hot countries, in other parts of the world, like South America, and then they are brought over on great big ships um, and delivered to our shops so that we can buy them. I like a banana as well. What else have I got? Oh, I bought some, what a loaf of bread. Bread is made from wheat that grows in the fields, a bit like the cereals that we talked about earlier. And then it's turned by bakers into a lovely loaf of bread. This one has got lots of seeds in it, makes it really, really tasty. And I also bought, the last thing I bought, was I bought some biscuits. Now, 
I really like biscuits, but these biscuits aren't for me. These biscuits are going to be donated towards Turning Tides because for our harvest this year, we are bringing in food and we're bringing in money and other things for the charity called Turning Tides. And they work with people who don't have anywhere to live in Worthing and in other areas near us. And with all this rain that's falling tonight, it's really made me think about people who don't have anywhere to live, how difficult it must be if you don't have a house to live in that you call your home. They must get really cold and really wet and it must be really hard to stay well and to stay safe. So by bringing something in, by dressing up today for harvest and having a non-uniform day and bringing things in for turning tides, you guys have helped all these people that turning tides looked after. So thank you for dressing up, thank you for bringing in your donations and thank you to turning tides for all the work that they do to help look after people who are homeless and need help where we live. I've got to get these home now, all right? So thanks very much for, wa thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.